I just want to know how many times are you going to talk yourself out of starting and then you are telling yourself the next day, I'm going to do it, but you never do it. You never end up showing up. If you don't show up, nothing happens. If you don't show up, you're taking one day from becoming that successful YouTuber that you always wanted to be. If you don't show up, babe, if you're not consistent and if you don't believe in yourself. So are you going to wait? Are you going to continue waiting? Or are you going to make the move and say, even if it doesn't work my way in the beginning, I'm still going to show up. If you want to start your YouTube channel, you are the only person holding yourself back. I Park the car just so we could have this quick conversation within the six weeks that I've been on YouTube. I've loved it. It's challenged me, but I've gained about over 400 subscribers just by being myself. Thank you so much. We have 500 and counting subscribers to the channel. On my page, I'm so focused on helping others reinvent themselves, become their best self, see their highest version of themselves possible, and achieve all things that come to mind. I set out on a mission this year to show up and change as many lives. If you are not already following me, definitely hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, because I'm giving you all the tips. This video is about getting started on YouTube. You never know what that one video for you will do to your channel. And my first video that I posted in number 2023 did so well, almost a thousand views. And I've had ups and downs, but I feel like YouTube has changed my life where it's given me confidence in ways where I had to push through obstacles, moments where I didn't feel like showing up. I was discouraged because I didn't get any likes or views or nobody was really reposting or sharing or commenting on my content. I have for so long wanted to start on YouTube and so many times I've talked myself out of starting and I know that you are probably talking yourself out of starting. I'm using my iPhone 14 Pro Max to film all my videos right now and is the only time that I'm using my front camera and I made sure that I really cleaned it. You don't need much. And for so long, I was like, yeah, I'm just gonna need a digital camera. I'm gonna need the best setup. I did drive around looking for really good lighting because it's so quick for us to doubt ourselves, doubt our capabilities and just sit in our sadness or sit in our self-doubt that we never act on the dreams that we have. We never put one foot forward. We're always so quick to put one step behind and just sit there and believe that we don't deserve to be on this platform. You do. You do though. It took me to almost turn 30 to tell myself that I was going to do everything I set out I was gonna do. To grow, I've been really consistent with posting my videos and showing up intentionally. I do not just post anything, I stick within my niche. I love what I do because this is who I am. I talk about my own growth, my testimonies, things I have failed and succeeded with from trial and error about life to help other people. In order for you to succeed from what I've seen in my growth, you need to authentically and genuinely teach to help other people with something maybe you are struggling with or you are knowledgeable about. I coach clients in person on how to eat well, fuel their body, move, work out, talk to themselves better overall get better with themselves and comfortable and confident with them within themselves for what that's what I do in person and my clients inspired me to bring that onto this platform so I'm super grateful we have so much self-doubt and we do not have faith and self-belief in the universe in God in ourselves that we can actually 
do something with our lives, that we can actually do something with our talents and skills and things that were uniquely put into our path for us to use to help somebody else. Trust me, if you are hesitant to start a YouTube channel and you are afraid like I was, people are going to laugh at me or no one's going to follow me or no one is going to subscribe to my channel. No one's going to watch my videos. You just never know by genuinely making that content who is going to stop and take something from your message as long as you're doing it out of the good and the will of your heart. Do not do something because you want exposure. Do something because you genuinely want to change the world and help people and impact the world because we need you. We need to learn from you. A lot better. Here's my water bottle. Oh my gosh, it doesn't fit. I'm going to be making a video about my favorite perfume and this one is on hand with me. We got the Libra from YSL. That's my favorite go-to perfume and that's going to be the tripod for today. These bangles are from Shein. How cute, how cute. And these earrings are from Amazon. I will link them below. Y'all are holding yourself back. I told myself this year I am going to do everything I talk myself out of doing that is positive and contributing to my growth. A lot of you want to to start your YouTube channel, sit down with yourself and really think about what do you talk about naturally? What do you do naturally? Some of you guys are really gifted. You're talented. You're so creative. You can paint on camera where you can talk about, how, you know, things and how they make you feel. And if you just take that moment to just sit with yourself and figure out what do you do naturally that you don't have to think about you know, putting together a whole day's work just to show up on YouTube. You want to make this so easy that you want to show up, that it's easy and effortless. Because if you try and be like another creator or you try and do and follow other people, you are not going to feel successful and you're going to burn out with all the thoughts. I walk around with a book and I write out all my thoughts and script everything to make sure I'm not rambling. Just start. Just get to the point where you're like, I'm so tired of thinking that other people are going to judge me or that no one's going to like me. I don't have that many friends and for so long I thought I needed more because sometimes I get a little bit lonely. But I find that showing up on YouTube more often makes me happier and makes me feel more fulfilled and content knowing that I'm doing something out of the good of my heart and I get to socialize, I get to produce content that is intentional, realistic, and it brings me to a platform that allows me to teach and help other people. I would say if you are considering getting on YouTube and you've had this platform for so long and have not used it and every day you're like, I'm going to start, I'm going to start and you don't start, you're wasting your time. There was a moment on my journey within these six weeks that my videos were not doing that well and I was like, oh, I just want to take a break. This is so overwhelming. Then I made a video and my page skyrocketed once again and produced about over 100 subscribers just by not giving up. You're not supposed to give up. The journey is not supposed to be easy, babe. It's not. You have to get up and tell yourself that even if I got one like or no likes, I'm still going to get up and just make the content because you never know what that one video can do to your channel, who that can help, how far it can go. You just never know. And that's why don't get discouraged when things don't work out your way. 